kick starting the bulletin with a very disturbing case of sheer medical negligence that's come to light at one of the top hospitals in the national capital. Now, uh, Ravi Rai was operated upon by doctors in the Shalimar Bagh located Fortis Hospital yesterday afternoon. He'd broken his right leg in a fall on Monday. Now, the surgery involved insertion of four pins to fix the broken bones. It was only after the procedure was complete that his wrong leg had been operated upon. Worse, in fact, his frantic calls to the doctor went completely unanswered. It was only after half an hour that the doctor finally appeared. The shocked family alleges the hospital offered to take out the pins and then insert them in the other leg but the kin have now said no filing an FIR against the hospital they even had to wait for hours before uh, Rai was released by the hospital the Fortis has issued a statement they said that patient safety is important and it will take appropriate action in this particular case Let's go across to Anusha Soni joining us over the phone lines with more details. Yet another shocking case of medical negligence coming to light there, Anusha. We have a statement that's come to light from Fortis, but really for the benefit of our viewers, if you could take us through what really happened and what the doctors have to say about this. Well, as you pointed out, uh, the patient was admitted in the hospital, um, you know, for operation in one of his legs. And um, allegedly, and what the the patients have been telling us, and what, what the complaint with the police has been registered, is the fact that the doctors operated on the wrong leg. What the patients have also told us is that the doctors have conceded of this error. However, uh, there are many points here which have been troublesome. First is the fact that this is not any ordinary hospital. Mm -hmm. This is one of the leading hospitals in the country, the fortis, uh, you know, chain of hospitals which has done this medical negligence. Even after that med uh, medical negligence, there was delay on their part to concede to their mistake. Uh, the police, though, in fact, has registered, uh, you know, a complaint in this matter. But you must remember that in cases of medical negligence, it's usually a very lackluster approach by the medical board and by the police authorities also because the evidence and the other uh, you know forms uh, required for prosecution uh, um, are very difficult to obtain in cases like these because you do not have cameras in operation right. theaters usually so let's see how this pans out however uh, you know a very disturbing case and the police has launched an FIR. Uh, let's see whether Fortis concedes to its mistakes and tries to correct it through some compensation. And Anusha, as you pointed out, you know, we're talking about a top Delhi hospital here, Fortis Hospital, where so many lakhs of patients go every single day. And in this particular case, we understand the doctor claimed that he was confused. And you really wonder because he went in for a surgery for a broken leg and then went ahead and inserted pins in the wrong leg. You really wonder about these doctors' qualification and the kind of experience they have. Well, in our country, you know, qualifications and experience is one thing and also the fact that medical services in this country are so hugely commercialized and doctors are so overburdened in the public care hospitals that it often leads to medical negligence cases like these. The sheer lack of the number of doctors and the sheer lack, uh, you know, of any kind of facilities in the public hospitals has forced common people like you and me to go to private hospitals for their treatment. But at the same time, even after spending so much money, there is little watch and monitoring of the sort Absolutely. and the quality of treatment we receive. Absolutely. Anusha, thanks for joining us with those details.